Appendix. For functions with domain restrictions, the transformation f of kx will adjust the domain in a predictable way. If the domain of f of x is a is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to b, then the domain of f of kx is a is less than or equal to kx is less than or equal to b. Solving for x, the domain f of kx is a over k is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to b over k. Exercise a. The domain of f of x is negative 6 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 12. What is the domain of g of x if g of x equals f of 3x? It follows that negative 6 is less than or equal to 3x is less than or equal to 12. Therefore, the domain of g of x is negative 2 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 4. Domain restriction. If the domain of f of x is a is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to b, then the domain of f of kx is a is less than or equal to kx is less than or equal to b. Here we have the graph of f. Exercise b. What is the domain of g of x if g of x equals f of 5x? All right, so if we have 5x and we set up our domain, it'll be the same as before. So the domain here is negative 3 to 5. So then we just divide each side here by 5, and we get negative 0.6 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 1. Exercise C. The graph of f of x is shown. Its zeros are negative 12 and 4. What are the zeros of the function g given by g of x equals f of x over 3? All right, so we know that f of negative 12 is 0. We know that f of 4 is also 0. So these equal 0. We also know that f of x over 3 equals g of x, which when we're solving for these zeros, equals 0. So if we know that f of negative 12 equals 0, then we can set x over 3 equal to negative 12 to solve for x here. So that would be x equals negative 36. We can do the same thing with f of 4. So x of over 3 equals 4, and that equals x equals 12. So our zeros are negative 36 and 12. 